I suffer from myself. What have we always been told? Head down, eye on the ball. And when they said head down, we have a tendency to put our chin in our chest. Huge power leak. It just does not allow us to rotate behind the ball. It causes all sorts of elevation changes in our swing. So what I want you to do is have your chin up. And again, this is one that I suffer from. Let me give you the example of a chin down swing. You set up to the ball, you've got everything going great for you, and then for some reason, you keep that head down a little bit too low. You start to take that club back, and notice, my shoulder will hit my chin, so I don't get a good rotation. What I have to do is do something strange. Now, what we want to do is have our chin up. Remember, our eyes can still watch the ball if they need to, so I'm going to set up. I look down the fairway. I don't want my chin to go any lower than the way I've looked down the fairway, so now I just turn my head. Look what happens now. Look at the great rotation that I can get just by having my chin up. Now I can get behind the ball, I can load it up, put it in the maximum overdrive, go to the finish line. Let me give you a different look at it coming at you. Let me show you this. Set up to the ball, look down the fairway. Now what am I doing? I get my chin down. Look at that takeaway. I'm stuck. So now I've got to raise up. I've got to do something to get my total backswing. If I set up, I want to look down the fairway, come back. My chin does not go any lower. Notice it's the same height. Now, look how much further that shoulder goes underneath. It allows me a full rotation. Keep your chin up. 